I remember when I was in sixth grade, I heard the expression, ignorance is bliss for the first time. And the word bliss always, like, it stood out to me when I was in sixth grade. Because it was the first time I heard it. And if you guys know, yesterday was Valentine's Day. You probably thought I would post something for Valentine's Day. But <laughs> I was so tired. I went to bed at 1030. But like they say, better late than never. And I'm a big believer on that. So I thought about Valentine's Day. I think any holiday, it's a scam. I kid you not, when I went for my daily walk, and it was like almost nine o'clock, the amount of people outside, the couples, I should say, wearing cute outfits, but uh, it's freezing. And a lot of women wearing dresses, gorgeous, heels, gorgeous. But we have leftover snow and it's super cold outside. (laughs) And balloons, laughter. And you know, people are going to always say you should love or spread love every single day. But I think it's a cute holiday in the sense that the colors are pretty... People just love pink and red, love, and who knows? I personally don't care, but I thought, you know, if I had a significant other, what would be my most wanted gift? And I would never want flowers. I know some girls are flower girls. I could care less for flowers. I would like those fake glitter flowers I've been seeing online. Or I would like those like Hello Kitty flowers I've been seeing also. But I don't really care for flowers. Not my thing. Now chocolates. That's what this audio is about. My favorite chocolate in the world is Sella's chocolate. They are a milk chocolate with... Okay, here's the thing. Maraschino cherries, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, and with a little bit of like a syrup inside. They are amazing. I adored them when I was a kid. They came like I think in 16, like batches of 16, and I would eat them all in one day. And this is where the whole ignorance is bliss comes in because it's so sad that. Maraschino's cherries have been exposed for having that red dye number 40. And there are so many things that people are saying that red dye number 40 is bad. Okay, now here's the thing. I'm glad we're at a point in life where we're being more health conscious. We are watching what we eat. But I think we forget the simple things. For example, the portions in America are ridiculous. Very ridiculous. A serving size here is not a serving size for me. It's for two servings. Too big. My leftovers last me for four days. It's insane. Next thing, anything that's not natural, of course it's not good for you. We know that. Right? Even things that are natural, they're filled with chemicals. Because in the end of the day... These companies have to, you know, mass produce for a huge amount of people, make capital, make profit, survive, and, you know, basically exploit human health. So it's really a tough situation because you could be eating healthy, but pesticides, chemicals, the truth is there's no really happy ending or way out of it. You are what you eat, right? And how did I get this idea for the story? I have blueberries in my fridge right now. And I'm going to be honest with you. I love blueberries, but I like them in muffins, pancakes, unhealthy things. I don't mind eating them fresh, but it's not really my favorite thing to eat. And so I was online and I'm looking for blueberry drinks. And I made some yogurt with dill today with lime. And so I saw someone just do like a blueberry lemonade. And I'm like, let me do that. So when I crushed up my blueberries and um, add my lime, my water, and my ice, 
It comes out to this very beautiful pink color that reminds me of Valentine's Day. And then so I thought, hmm, what would I want for Valentine's Day? And I like chocolates. And then it reminded me of the chocolates I love. And then it reminded me of how they contain red dye number 40. And then health. (laughs) So it's a loop, basically, or like, not a loop, I should say, but it's basically stages we're going through. Valentine's Day or not, I love you all regardless. I know it's tough out there. We have to worry about our current situation and we have to worry about the future situations that are going to happen and impact us very heavily. But the truth of the matter is you really need to take it one day at a time and try to enjoy yourself, figure out yourself, and don't live in doom. I think doom is horrible. If you guys play Final Fantasy X and a monster cast Doom on you, I think, I don't remember this quite well, but I think I have the right idea. You would die maybe in a couple of rounds. So you would have a clock on your head and it would tell you how many rounds you would die in unless you killed the monster. So let's say I had a clock on top of my head and it says 10, means in 10 rounds I would die. And Doom is something you do not want to engage in we all have a clock i know certain situations certain days are very stressful but um you just gotta look forward to things in life a lot of you are looking for love and i understand that but just enjoy being single right now maybe you'll be single for 20 years until you find somebody and That's really how it is. There's really no rush in anything. And if you want to be with someone as soon as possible, well, then maybe you kind of have to look for it. You might be saying how. Same idea. Put yourself out there. I'm not a believer of dating sites, but in this day and age, it seems like a lot of people are meeting people on dating sites. I have never tried it. (laughs) <laughs> I feel like it's a little bit ooh, scary for me. But I honestly don't have the best advice in how to find somebody. Because I don't think there is one right way. The only thing I could tell you is don't rush. Because if you rush and you're like, she's the one. Because you're just trying to get somebody. And then you decide to live your whole life with them. And you figure out who they really are. Well, that's going to end in tragedy. So don't rush. Just live your life. And it doesn't have to always be with somebody. I honestly go to the mall. I go shopping. I go a lot of places by myself. And I like being by myself. Because, let's say me and somebody, whether we should get pretzels or chocolate, well, guess what? I don't have to worry about your opinion or what you want. I can get what I want because I'm by myself. The perks of being alone. There's a lot. 